I just wanted to explain the how the when you go to annotate and and tag by category wall types anything that doesn't have a parameter will come up as blank so when I move uh, the wall type over a wall that has a parameter tag for it that means it, it has some a definition like that's wall a4 this one is a6 that one now has a uh, 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 label associated with X9. Here is an example of one that's missing. So that there's an exterior wall EIF as a metal stud, so it doesn't have something. So I'm going to call this and select it and say X10. So we, we've assigned it a label. Changing a type parameter could affect many elements. That's what we want. Uh, then I'm going to change. Uh, then I'm going to change this tag to the larger one I created. That's three eighths. Okay, so there's the X10 uh, wall tag. We need to create a, par a partition type associated with it. So I'm going to duplicate. one of these existing le legends. I'm going to rename this at X10. I'm going to delete the legend instance that was associated with that. So let's go back to that view 101. Highlight the wall uh, type. Exterior EIFS metal stud two. So I'm, I'm just gonna select it here so I can copy the text from that label. Go to my partition type X10, paste it to that label, and I want to find that instance of that wall. Drag it into the legend, switch it from floor plan to section view. We're by no means done, but at least I have the beginning. Okay, so there's an exterior wall X9. Well, I think I called it X10. I, I didn't update this. And that's going to be our EIFS. So now when I go to the wall schedule, that was the problem before. Now it will show up because I've assigned a type mark to it, a parameter to it. Okay, cheers.